NCR notes, Indian nationalism, the moderate phase Indian nationalism arose in the latter half of the 19th century as a result of various factors like Western education, socio-religious reforms, British policies and so on. In 1885, the Indian National Congress was formed which played a significant role in India's freedom movement. The time period from 1885 to 1905 can be called the moderate phase. The leaders of this phase are called moderates. The Indian National Congress includes formed in 1885 by Alan Octavian Bume, a retired British civil servant. Other founding members include Dr. Abhayne Aroji and Inshaw Wachan. First session was held in Bombay under the presidency of Wamesh Chandra Banerjee in 1885. First session was attended by 72 delegates from across the country. Viceroy of India at the time was Lord Dufiran who gave his permission to Hume for the first session. The Congress was formed with the intention of discussing problems faced by the people of the country irrespective of caste, creed, religion or language. It was basically a movement of the upper and middle class, western educated Indians in its moderate phase. Second session of the Congress was held in Calcutta in 1886 followed by the third in Madras in 1887. Moderate phase 1885 1905 moderate phase of the Congress or the national movement was dominated by the moderates. They were people who believed in British justice and were loyal to them. Prominent moderate leaders Dr. Abhay known as the Grand Old Man of India. He became the first Indian to become a member of the House of Commons in Britain. The author of poverty and un-British rule in India which focused on the economic drain of India because of British policies. This led to an inquiry on the matter. Wamesh Chandra Banerjee, first president of the Incorporated, lawyer by profession, first Indian to act as standing counsel, G. Sutherman Iyer, founded the Hindu newspaper where he criticized British imperialism, also founded Tamil newspaper Swadazamatran, co-founded the Madras Mahach Sabha, Godal Krishna Gokhale, regarded as Mahatma Gandhi's political guru, founded the Servants of India Society, Sir Shurandrana Banerjee, also called Rashtra Guru and Indian Burke, founded the Indian National Association which later merged with the Incorporated, cleared the Indian civil service but was discharged due to racial discrimination, founded newspaper The Bengali. Other moderate leaders included Rash Bikari Ghosh, Barsi Dud, M. G. Renay, Aroz Eshamita, P. R. Naidu, Mabin Modin Magadhyaya. Shannon Dacharlu, S. Subramania Iyer and William Wenderburn. Aims and demands of the moderate education of the masses and organizing public opinion, make people aware of their rights. Indian representation in the Executive Council and in the Indian Council in London. Reform of the Legislative Councils. Separation of the Executive from the Judiciary. Decreased land revenue tax and ending peasant oppression. After 1892, raised the slogan. No taxation without representation. Reduced spending on the army. Abolishing salt tax and duty on sugar. Holding the ICS exam in India along with England to allow more Indians the opportunity to take part in the administration. Freedom of speech and expression. Freedom to form associations. Development of modern capitalist industries in India. And of economic drain of India by the British. Repealing the Arms Act of 1878. Increasing spending on education of Indians. Methods of the moderates they believed in peaceful and constitutional methods to demand and fulfill those demands. Used petitions, meetings, resolutions, pamphlets, memoranda and delegations to voice their demands. Their method has been called 3P, prayers, petition and protest. Had complete faith in the British justice system. Confined to the educated classes only. Did not try to employ the masses. They aimed only at getting political rights and self-government under British dominion. Successes of the Moderates Indian Councils Act of 1892 was the first achievement of the Incorporated. This act increased the size of the legislative councils and also increased the proportion of non-officials in them. They were able to sow the seeds of nationalism in the people. They popularized ideals like democracy, liberty and equality. They exposed many training economic policies of the British. Leaders like Goat Al Krishna Goat Hale and M. G. Renee were social reformers too and opposed child marriage and imposed widowhood. 
The limitations of the moderates this phase of the national movement excluded the masses and only the educated elites participated in it. They did not demand complete independence from foreign rule. They did not understand the power of a mass movement of people unlike Gandhi who used this power drew most of their ideas from Western political thinking which further alienated them from the people.